Get figgy with it. Get figgy with it. Get figgy with it. Oh, somebody upstairs needs a raise. That's adorable. I love it. Hey, we're getting figgy with it this morning, and once again, our favorites, favorite Mets pitcher, my favorite Mets player, I'm gonna go and say that, Period. is coming to us live from spring <laughs> training. That's right, Picks 11's Nelson Figueroa is live in Port Lucia, following, uh, following us. Uh, good morning out there. Figgy! Good morning, girls. How are you? We're fantastic. Um, are you wearing sunscreen? Uh, this bronze skin doesn't get bronze by wearing sunscreen, so wow. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Sometimes on the forehead because the sun has been pretty strong. Okay. Are you ever coming back? Are you, guys, are you moving <laughs> down there? Should we send you things? Listen, it's going to be close. The, the real winners here are the city of Port St. Lucie. It gets harder and harder to leave here every time. I bet. I'm not mad at that. All right, listen, we got a few questions for you. First of all, is there anything exciting? Oh, I see the fellas down there. Look at that. Is there anything exciting happening that you can clue us into? Always something exciting happening. Actually, I'm just about to stretch. You look over my right shoulder, you see they're getting their stretch on. That's the big league team right there. Well, the guys that should be making the big league team, uh, they're getting ready to prepare for their day. They start at 10 o'clock with a stretching routine and go into different stations all over the complex. And they will break into a live batting practice session where the pitcher of the day or the pitcher is which uh, will be Edwin Diaz pitching against some live batting practice against his teammates to get ready for the upcoming season. So that's the exciting part about today. No games yet until tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the first game of spring training. And then, of course, on Sunday on our air on WPIX will be the Mets uh, taking on the, I believe, the Astros for their no. first game. Okay. I love that. And uh, Ziggy, it's Friday, and you know I like to smile, I like to laugh. I know that you did sit down with not just the Mets manager, but also the Yankees manager. And so I got to ask, who is the funniest? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I think every, they have their own personalities. They're each a little bit unique. Booney, I think, of course, is a little bit funnier. He, he oh. go, I go back with Booney a long time to our days of training in Arizona. He actually is, off camera, is very, very funny. On camera, he tries to be a little bit more intense, and we've seen him with the arguments with umpires and such, but I think yeah, he takes the cake for now until we get to know Carlos Mendoza a little bit more. Ah, that's right, we got a new guy. At the that's mix. right, and if, if we were to put uh, either of them back out on the field, uh, do any of them think that they can still play out there? Oh. <laughs> You know what, it's funny you should say that. I've been watching the mannerisms, and when you have a new manager like Carlos Mendoza, he's kind of more eyes everywhere, eyes and ears. He's looking around at all the different fields and all the different stations, trying to get a good look at all his players, right? When Aaron Boone, he's more comfortable. It's his seventh year with the Yankees, and coming off a bad year last year, he's definitely more vocal. He's the guy that you hear yelling out on different drills and whatnot. And I think that's one of the things, as a leader, you have to realize what is going to be the tone you want to set for your camp. Carlos Mendoza has talked about communications and relationships. That's the big key words you always hear. And I think that's something that's important for him that he can't start yelling at people in you know, week one or week two. All right, real quick, because we know you got to get back to your sun tanning. I mean, working. <laughs> uh, but let's go back to the Mets for a second. Pete Alonso doing something <laughs> huge that I, I might have to switch to being a Mets fan. He's helping shelter dogs in a special way. Talk about what he's uh, pledging to do this year. Yeah, of course, Pete Alonso wants to pledge $1,000 for every home run that he hits this season. And you might say, well, you know, he's a big superstar. Couldn't he give a little bit more money? Remember, this guy averages about 45 home runs a year. So he is doing his part and uh, creating more awareness for animal shelters and for rescues. He himself, of course, having two dogs that he has saved uh, for, um, from shelters and uh, loves them dearly. And I think I have had three, at least in my career. So I have to be on board with Pete Alonso and support his his, uh, his what he's trying to get done with the animal shelter. We love it. LGM, baby. I'm rooting for him. I hope he does 46 this year just to uh, uh -oh. help another animal. Okay, Figgy, thank you so much. Have fun down there. P put sunscreen nice. on your head sunscreen at least. Sunscreen on. Thank you. Remember <laughs> that you can catch Figgy and Mark Lucius uh. every week, every weekday, 7 p.m. for Sports Nation Nightly. It's right here on Picks 11.